I've been planning this for a while, and I, I've been racking up on emulators and getting everything sorted, uh, getting good dumps of uh, games, because I have a lot of these games still in my old CD case. Um, so yeah, I got, let's see, I got the uh, Citra 3DS emulator, I got the DSMU DS emulator, uh, EPSX, PCSX2, uh, I got Null DC. I got all those emulators up and running, with with multitude of games for each each system. So I'm really looking forward to to going in and having a good time with all that. Teal Vice up. Moons, give me strength. Very powerful attack. Moves, give me strength. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna do a thing where I, re I let people request an old game they wanna see. You know, for the next stream, like the next week's uh, stream and VOD for YouTube Move. and Twitch. This is Squad, you said you love PS2s. So like, what's. Just, just run me a couple names. What are some PS2 joints that you are a uh, big fan of? Take this. Oof! Critical hit. That's fun. Okay. Going. Our first dungeon in Skies of Arcadia, the Water Temple. I'm having Ocarina of Time flashbacks right now. Or nightmares, depending on how you thought about that temple. Sure, I should have done that, but I did. Let's see what happens with this now. I want this big gold chest, though. Nothing else out here. Time to go inside and see how different this island is. Where this temple is. There's no competition. Too easy. Oh, nice. Critical. Get out of here. Done. That's fun. Chrono Cross? Okay. So, would you say you're also a huge uh, RPG fan? Traditional RPG? I played the crap out of Chrono Cross, man. They had a, it's funny, cause like, I don't really remember the story actually too well for Chrono Cross. I only played it once, but wasn't there a party member that was basically a cat in like a black kind of outfit? Was that, was that one of the characters? I'm trying to remember like top of my brain. 
if that was one of the party members or not. I have it too. I still have it. I think it was multiple discs and everything. And it had like, I believe there was like, what, 40 something playable characters in that game? It had a lot of playable characters. Yeah, there was a lot of team up attacks, all that stuff. It was good stuff. Get out of here, dude. Seeker, uh, I got bad news for you, bro. Cutlass Fury all day, every day. Oh, I'm going to need it, too, because this guy's kind of strong. Cutlass Fury! Oh, he's not dead? Oh my god, she's about to be. Uh, maybe heal yourself, lady? Moons give, me strength. Moons, give her something. Give her a band-aid. Aika's getting rocked. Saw how confident I was though. Like I talked all that shit and then he lived. Like shit talking doesn't work when they live through the special move. I'm just gonna throw that out there. It's not a good look. Hold on. I mean I came in through here and went up, activated that switch that raised the water level. So where is this gonna take me now that I lowered myself? Right, I got this whole walkway now to go through. I lowered myself below the island. I don't know what this guy's weak to. I'm gonna hope ice. He is terrifying to look at, by the way. Moons, give, give me strength. <sighs> Did he get poisoned? I need him to be poisoned because that's disgusting. Oh my God, that's terrifying. Consider yourself fish fried. So squad, is that is that your favorite game, Chrono Cross? Like, if you had a PS2 game, if you had a 50-hour block of free time with no interruptions, and you had a PS2 game that you could play without being interrupted, what's that game?
The looter series? Okay, then you definitely need more than 50 hours. <laughs> We're gonna get you a 500 hour block of time. <laughs> 500 hour block of time, then you can play to your heart's content. So get off my girl, dude. Stop putting her to sleep. You better run. All right, squad, here's a good question. So, someone like me, right? I, I'm not, I've dabbled in the Lunar games, but I've never, because I don't like the bullshit. I've never sat and played a Lunar game to completion, ever. So as someone who doesn't know the series too, too well, outside of a little bit of stuff on the edges and watching some friends play, where, where should I go if I want to have like, if I'm going to experience a single Lunar title and play it through to completion. Which one do you think would be the one? Okay, we got all that water drained out. There is a chest over there, but I wouldn't be able to drop down to get it. Unless I climb up, go through that door, and then I think there's a ladder I could take to get to that chest. And I think this is just the way I have to go over here to the left, so let's go get that chest on the right. The game doesn't have a lot of chests just laying around, so every one you get is pretty useful. Lunar 1 for sure, okay. Now is Lunar 1 a PS2 or a PS1 joint? Dreamcast, what, what's what's it on? What can I play that on? Yeah, because I know it's an older series. Uh, I definitely know it's an older series, so okay. PS1 version? Got it. Lunar 1, PS1. Roger that. I'm going to have to grab that and give that a try. Look at that fat GameCube, dude. I love it. Why did that guy not die in one shot? Did I not hit him clean? Oh no. He blocked the hit, that's what he's doing. Slick little bastard. Okay, I was gonna say. So we're against him. Welcome everyone, like I said, welcome to the old man club. We're old, crusty, 35 and up-ish. Playing some good old games. Uh, I'm gonna heal myself. Cause at this point I have a lot of these crystals. Mm, actually, I need more I think that's good enough. <laughs> I love how he hits that door and he's like, crap! I'm watching you stream and playing Breakpoint at the same time. Well, that's... 
playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint and watching Skies of Arcadia at the same time. The luxuries of living a 2019 lifestyle. That's all I'll say about that. Got a golem on our hands. All right. I don't really want to use fire or poison. I don't think that's going to work on a stone golem. And, you know, I'm a chemist, so I'm just trying to use my smart chemistry brain. I will try ISO. Just to see. Give me strength. Not much. You know, we can try Call of Fury out though, right now. So not much of a hit. That was disgusting damage. The hell was that? That hit me so much harder than I was expecting. That was crazy. Here goes. Old video games, people. Be careful what you wish for. They're hard. Jesus. That is a disrespectful slap to the face. I kind of... Let's try Alpha Storm and see what it does. Not much. Not worth four points being used up. Oh no! Vice! Dude, you're getting just fucking rocked! Topped off. We need to like evade some hits. Please. No. Full-screen counterattacks. Come on, man. This guy is just being a jerk. All right, I want to guard because I think now he's going to do that big fire attack. Yes. Let me be smart about the options the game is giving me here. That was much better. Dark Gemtum Oblinit. Are you a Scott of Arcadia fan? Cut the story. 
Nice. Awesome. Honestly, my favorite part of playing older games are people who just big fans just love coming in and like you either get you either get a couple just a couple different kinds of people you either get the people who play it on a regular basis so they just want to come in and share the knowledge with you like like just try to help out as much as possible or you get you know some people who are just like they remember it you know like they remember they liked it uh, so they just like to watch just to kind of like oh man remember this I mean, it's gonna keep hitting them with it, I guess. Just no MP. I kind of wasted it doing dumb shit. But he's close to being dead, so let's just see what we can do. Hoping for a critical. Didn't get what I wanted. Oh no! I cannot afford her to get hit again. He's still alive. Not good. I don't think I have an item to bring her back. I do not. Oh boy, now we just gotta fight to the death. Let's hope this works. This fight just got real serious. Being it seven or eight times? Okay, then you definitely know a lot more than me. <laughs> oh, she got none of the XP? Oh, that is brutal. What about the... The type that heard of it, realized it sucked, and didn't care about that. Yeah, whatever, bro. I will ban you for any kind of heathen talking in Skies of Arcadia. Yeah, I've gotten to the end uh, one time, and then my Dreamcast went... And then later on, when the GameCube came out, I actually went through and completed the entire thing. What was that super dab? Oh my god! Yo. Yo, McCallion, we're gonna have to learn that. I don't know what that was. I totally forgot about that. Whatever that was, we need to do that next time I see you. See you. Oh, the hell of a greeting. You guys falling asleep in the job. Ben the Lookout. Well, my man knows the importance of stretching better than me. Right, they do attack the island. I was just off by the timing. Ooh, that shell skipped. I think we might have been a little bit too overzealous in stating our name and where we're from while we attacked their ship.
Let the bodies rot in the sun and leave one of our flags to set an example for others who may defy us. I mean, Gaussian's a raw ass dude. Holy smokes. This game's a lot more vicious than I remember. Let's go. Gentum, who is your favorite character? Since you, you've played it a lot. I'm partial to Gilder myself, simply because uh, his special attacks are just so great. But I actually really like Vice. Vice is actually a really good main character. A lot of RPGs had the problem with their main characters weren't really that cool compared to the side people, but Vice, pretty good. I think I need to go... Yeah, I need to bear south. Oh god, I didn't heal her. Oh, hold on. A hey, uh rise up little lady. You got to fight. And the levels make a big difference in this game. I'm taking way less damage from these basic guys now. Ah, I was hoping to catch them both. Not quite. She missed out on so much XP by dying in that boss fight. I'm gonna have to like grind up with her a lot to make up that difference. Also, I remember one of the things I liked about this game is that you got the airship like right away. Like after Final Fantasy VII, every game was all about the airship. Every single RPG, it did not matter what it was. It's like, yo, you're getting an airship. Trust and believe. Um, but I like that this game was just like super upfront. Like, you know what? Here game start. Here you go. You got it. Like, we're just not even gonna waste time with that. We won! We won! We are just whiffing on these guys. We're not gonna get a single kill here, huh? Okay, we'll get one. Or not. What does it miss? There we go.
everything's completely destroyed. to the underground base. See how many people we have, have left, I should say. Oh my god, Martha, do not tell Batman and Superman. Otherwise, this island will get destroyed. the merchant is still in here I think he is actually I'm pretty sure he's like I'll sell you something despite everyone dying being captured but I think Fina is down here or is she Yep, scumbag, so here. Yep, I still have to I still have to pay for my own weapons. This guy's a jerk. Let's buy this weapon for vice. Put that on vice. Hmm. I don't think I need any of those items at the moment. What system are you picking up on caught up on? Thinking of getting on a PC, but kids nowadays are all Adderall and can't compete with them. <laughs> I don't know yet, honestly. Uh, I'm actually still... I received an email from Activision uh, earlier this week about Call of Duty, so I don't know if they have a platform preference that they would have reviewers look at it on. However, I will say the thing that's nice is it doesn't really matter anymore from what I was looking at it. You know, the crossplay dream is still in full effect and progression is going to be carried over across everything, so you know, it doesn't matter where we're playing it, everyone's going to be able to play together, which is nice. Uh, even in the beta, that worked well. You know, PC, Xbox, PC, PS4, PS4, Xbox. So... Yeah, there is... PC players were kind of disgusting before. And that beta.
going to be interesting balance wise to see how that shakes out over time. Gonna kick some valiant ass. that fleet the serpent the empire the armada knows nothing about being uh subtle Protector of Valuad, Supreme Commander of the Imperial Armada. Look at this guy's smarmy fucking look. He's obviously a villain. Also, the ridiculous collar. Guy looks like Count Dracula playing Halloween time. All right, so. It's off to the ship. Swoop. A little ass boat. Heading north, everybody. Oh, I did get a Moonberry from that fight. I need to use it to get my next super attack. Ah. 
guy's evasion drives me crazy. Oh, no one's escaping this fight. Fight to the death. There we go. Got him. Huge damage increase to that sword he got. Huh, that was easy. What's this ship going to tell us? I forgot how many different battle screen transitions they even had to for this. Huh. Oh my god, we are so bad at hitting these guys. They had to be a jerk. He had to do his one magic attack. What an ass. There we go. Smoked him. The squad, how are you enjoying Breakpoint? I, I, I had to tap out of Breakpoint. Like, I, I had to... I, d I just couldn't do it no more. Too many like little issues with this. I just, I, I had to just kind of back out. Magic question mark? That's what eight, six attacks straight. Oh, finally we get them. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's, I don't want to say I don't want to say I had a problem with it. It wasn't buggy. Like I didn't have any bugs or any of those kind of things. Too bad. It's more of like you know the game being a grind and stuff like that. Like in terms of like leveling and all that. And I know you don't need to, but. It's had so much other things going on at the time. It's like, I can't. I gotta tap out. Tap out. Tap out, Ghost Recon. You win. I still prefer Wildlands in a lot of ways. The big ass purple whale. Off we go. Craven okay, SPS game, nothing out there I like. Yeah, dude. It, I, it's actually a weird thing where there's not a lot of just straight up FPS games. There really just isn't a lot of them. 
Because, like, every single one that gets made is either, like, some kind of survival game or a battle royale. Oh my god, why did he punch me like that? I think uh, rack dam is where you get introduced to the ship combat because that's like another element of this game is that you have uh, ship battles where you fight with your ship and not your crew and I remember those being like really epic like there was some really big fights in the game with them aye aye Live with your knees, not your back, Vice. Oh. Looks like me, my first day at FedEx. Struggling. <laughs> the box is only 20 pounds, though, but that's me. Struggling to carry that thing. Oh, oh my god, your form, dude! down Can't really complain. He saved their lives. Least we can do is get this big ass box and destroy your back.
40 leagues northeast from here. And we're off. We have our first ship. I got he's allowed us to use his stuff. Make no mistake, he's the one in charge. Nope, so can't go through that though. We're gonna have to go underneath. Oh, speaking of, before I forget, I have moonberries. I need to use said moonberries. Let's get him his ability. Vegeta, what does a scouter say? I don't remember this aspect of the game at all. I really don't. Like some Pokemon Snap type stuff. I, I don't remember this part even a little bit. My man got the green chancletas. Look at him on the boat. My God. You know he got some rice and beans cooking inside the cab. That's 100%. Those are raw grandpa Spanish dude sandals right there. No socks. Holy shit. I respect it though. This island is popping. You hear the music? Guys being a hard ass. I just used a moonberry on this asshole. So when I was a kid,
Um, I always thought this little gate right here looked like the checkpoint gate in Super Mario World that Mario would run through to checkpoint himself. I love how shady these guys are. Look at their shady conversing, but, you know, right in the entrance of the biggest town here. Towns and ships throughout the mid ocean area is known for lack of mercy. I'm gonna have to kill this guy. Balter the Blackbeard? Can't let him can't let him live. Man, it's opening that book so fast. Guile back there. things is there another one here am I, am I too far from that guy I totally see you dude how do I put that thing on do I already have it on Damn you! I see you! Can I get up higher? I don't think so. Look at her outfit. Oh, she blew me a little kiss? All right, shorty, I'll be back. Right back at you.
man is losing his mind. He looks like a Fortnite kid. He really did. You saw him? Tilted Towers! Tilted Towers! Looks like all the Fortnite kids in the black hole happened and they couldn't play for two days. Just losing his goddamn mind. Oh, they're there. Like, I can totally see that guy. Why can't I catch him? Same with that one. I'm not gonna lie he's in really good shape because if I was laying on the ground and flailing my arms and legs like floating above the ground like that I wouldn't be able to do it for this long you know what I'm saying I get tired quick that guy's in shape can't take that away from him nap over here I just bought a weapon I hate when this happens I hate just buying a weapon and then this happens ah oh, well let's do it I got the money right Let's buy that for Drachma so we just have it. Buy this for Vice. Let's get this ring for Ica. Okay, flat broke. Let's see what I can sell. So that Do something really quick. Uh... Am I missing something, Argentum, about capturing these things? Is he just too high up for me? I know you gotta go to first person and hit A to target him, but I cannot get that targeting reticle to pop up. He's too high? Okay. Over here thinking I'm losing my damn mind. 
it from here? No, because now I'm too far, I believe. How do I get on top of this structure? That's got to be it. I got to be able to climb this somehow. Yep, there we go. Oh, let me save it. I smell it. I'm going to climb this building. I'm going to capture this damn Pokemon. his ass moonfish I choose you yeah <laughs> getting warmer yeah I had a feeling yo 200 gold I just stole that out the room oh my goodness see like that's one of those things like what I just did really smart game design like notice how like in most games you'd have to run down yourself and without being able to see where the the pathway is to, to, to progress no I didn't want to stay the night uh, but that's what I feel like this game has really smart design like they know that it's a 3d world but when anytime you have like a weird angle like that the controls automated if you go into a building, the doorways are always lit in a way with enough stuff there that you can just tell that's where you have to leave without having to worry about rotating the camera and kind of getting all on that mess. Um, it's like really smart uh, design everywhere. Like, I love Xenogears, but Xenogears is, like, so guilty of that. Xenogears, you go into a building, and you can rotate the camera wherever the hell. You lose track of where you were. It's like, oh, shit, how do I get out of this fucking this room that I'm in? Oh my god, they did it again! Alright, hold on. So it's like a backwards, a forward. They, they slap up high while spinning. Oh man, I gotta, I, I gotta, I'm clipping all these moments. I, I need, I need to remember these. Guys, I'm not shitting you. When my wife gets home, I'm going to try to do that handshake with her. She doesn't know it yet. It's going to be awesome. All right. He's back in the party. I can give him that weapon he had.
Who would have the information I seek? Oh, you know what? It's probably right there in the tavern. I'm over here trying to leave. I should probably stick in the tavern and ask around here first. Some useless fucks. Yeah, that's really depressing. Good lord. Hope Polly's husband does come back. Yes, sounds like a great deal. Let's do it. All right, is now the list updated? Or do I have to kill Balter first? Because it's a tutorial target. Yeah, he's the only one. Okay. Alright, let's get into our first naval battle. Is it a naval... Hold on, I'm trying to think of the right word. Is it a naval battle if you are fighting in the air? Or does it become a dogfight at that point? Like, I'm inclined to say it's... Uh, I, I would almost want to say it's an, it's an air battle. However, if you can't barrel roll, it cannot be a dogfight. Person party height. Cranky.
Oh, critical. Oh, it still didn't get him. He blocked. Okay. Oh, that was a uh, that was crazy. Serves up right. Drachma. I mean, he is level twelve. Kind of didn't think about him being so much stronger than we were. Black pirate Balter ship, the Blackbeard. Ship battle. Hmm. Aye, aye. I love these battles, man. They're really fun. Some of them are. F I remember one battle in particular near the end that is so difficult. What do we get? We, we guard. I'm gonna focus, then guard, then attack. Little late with that block. We miss our first salvo. Not good. Okay, so Pretty hard. Nice miss. Whoa, look at that move right there. 
That was a very slick maneuver. Flip six three hole. Now you're really old if you know where that's from. Wide open. All right. And with the standard cannon. No, I want her to heal. Oh, we almost got him. Got him. Bye bye. See you later. Domination. Hell yeah, dude. Victory. You're going down, dude. Oh, they did it again. Oh my God, so cool. <laughs> oh my God, he got fucking cocked. That was so funny, man. They did the dap, and then right after, he just fucking just slaps the shit out of you. Oh, that was great. Uh, let's use a Captain Stripe. Man, this game makes me think of like the, uh, even though it's a very different game, the kind of failed potential of Skyward Sword. Like an entire Zelda based on floating islands where you're flying and sailing through the sky. 
Like, uh, I just... Game just didn't turn out the way I hoped. But the potential would have been really great. game okay so I think I'm gonna stop right there for skies of Arcadia but uh you know, retro throwback Thursday is not over we're gonna play a couple other older games uh Argentum uh thank you I know you're a big skies of Arcadia fan with your seven or eight playthroughs you monster uh but every Thursday I think when I do this I'm gonna start with skies of Arcadia and I think that'll be the game that I will play through to completion to kick off the retro stuff. So it'll always be a couple hours, two or three hours of Skies of Arcadia, and then I'll start dabbling in some other old games. Uh, so it's been really fun. This game still totally holds up. I'm having a great time. Let me save it again because I'm paranoid. And I, that's how you play RPGs. Multiple save slots. 